Hey everybody, Mark here from 8 Minute Acts. Today I'm counting down the top 10 songs of all time that use a capo, or capo as some of you call it, especially those of you hailing from Italian crime families. There are so many great songs that employ a capo. I believe I came up with 25 all vying for 10 spots. If you don't know what a capo is, it's a musical device that you clamp onto the neck of a stringed instrument, which shortens the length of the strings, raising the pitch. The word capo comes from the Italian word capotasso, which literally means head of fretboard. Musicians were using capos as early as the 17th century. The first patented capo was designed by James Wolcott in 1850, a fact that's only important because James hailed from the great state of Connecticut. We're going to get into the countdown now, but make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to share with you a tip on how to put a capo on without pulling the strings out of tune. A trick I learned from the great Tommy Emanuel. Coming in at number 10 is a classic by the Rolling Stones off of their Let It Bleed album. I gave this song extra credit because there's actually a guitar tuned to open G with a 5th fret capo and a guitar tuned to open E with an 8th fret capo. The main riff is played by the guitar in open G with a 5th fret capo, so that's what I'm going to play here. Coming in at number 9 is the first Beatles song on the countdown. This song has a 7th fret capo off of the Rubber Soul album, George Harrison's If I Needed Someone. Number eight is a bit of a challenge, but fun to play once you get it. This song is off of one of the best-selling albums of all time, Fleetwood Mac's Rumors. There's a fourth fret capo, and it's in drop D, Never Going Back Again. Coming in at number seven is a bit of a deep cut. This is my favorite Dire Straits song. This song is also an open G tuning, this time third fret capo, off of their Making Movies album, Romeo and Juliet. Number six is also a song that features two capoed guitars. This time, guitars capoed on the first and third fret, respectively. This was the lead track off of Tom Petty's first solo album, Full Moon Fever, Free Fallin'. Coming in at number five is another one of my all-time favorite songs. This one has a third fret capo off of his classic Sweet Baby James album, James Taylor's Fire and Rain. Number four features a seventh fret capo. Hopefully this song doesn't get blocked. I dedicate this song to you, Don Henley. The Eagles, Hotel California.
Okay, before I reveal the top three, I want to give a shout out to a few of the songs that didn't make the cut. First and foremost, Simon and Garfunkel, Scarborough Fair, The Sound of Silence, Mrs. Robinson. I had all three of those songs in the countdown at one point. Some other great songs, Harry Chapin's Cats in the Cradle, Long Time by Boston, bet you didn't think of that one. Brian Wilson by The Bare Naked Ladies, The Rain King by The Counting Crows, Ooh La La by The Faces, Hallelujah, the Jeff Buckley version. Let's get on with it, coming in at number three. Another track off the Rubber Soul album, Second Fret Capo. John Lennon wrote this one about an affair he was having, Norwegian Wood. Number two also has a second Fred Capo. I performed this song in its entirety in one of my Covering the Classics videos off of his first solo album, Peter Gabriel's Salisbury Hill. I'm sure many of you guessed number one, featuring a seventh fret capo, the first song off of the classic Side Two of Abbey Road, George Harrison's Here Comes the Sun. Right, now I'm going to demonstrate that little tip that I learned from Tommy Emanuel on how to put a capo on without pulling the strings out of tune. After you put the capo on, you want to rest the heel of your hand near the sound hole and press in firmly and that will pull all the strings back a little bit and this really works. It does help bring the strings back in tune. Remember, this is my list. I definitely left out a lot of classics. Please leave me a comment and let me know what my most glaring omissions were. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please take a moment and subscribe to the channel. Little gestures on your part make a big difference on my end, and I really do appreciate it. Also, don't forget to enter this month's Van Gogh 12 string guitar giveaway. Every month I give away a brand new Van Gogh 12 string guitar package. Details on how to enter this month's contest are in the description. Most importantly, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.